Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's February 3rd, Friday morning, and uh, we just had the release of uh, payroll numbers uh, showed that uh, we had an increase of employment by 243,000 jobs. The trade was looking for 150,000, so positive there. Put the unemployment rate at 8.3%. That's an improvement from the 8.5%. So showing the economy is uh, strengthening, and uh, since the report, we've seen bond markets uh, sell off, the stock market and the energy markets uh, show some strength here, a little weaker dollar, which is uh, translating to uh, an expectation that we could see higher grain prices here on a risk-on type attitude. We've seen some of that overnight uh, and would expect to see uh, some more buying here uh, this morning in the uh, grains off of this uh, constructive uh, unemployment number. Uh, other news uh, that we are dealing with here this morning is uh, South American weather. Of course, they're uh, looking for rain there. It looks like the situation with the uh, moisture in South America is, is pretty much over. The drought has uh, ended in uh, many areas uh, and should cause some uh, improvement to crop quality. And for the later qu crops, the, the second crop down there uh, should help that uh, crop improve in uh, production. Uh, also, uh, in the announcement that we've been waiting for from Russia on will they uh, impose a tariff on their uh, exports, uh, that announcement has been moved to another day, as they said. The meeting this afternoon has been canceled and uh, will uh, an announcement will be made on another day. Uh, there's also reports out of Ukraine that uh, they have halted uh, rail cars from moving out of the country or shipment of grain out of the country uh, via rail cars, and not because of uh, tight supplies. It's because of the uh, uh, the uh, cost of their cars moving out of the country is less than what a, a surrounding countries are. Therefore, uh, they don't return the cars to allow the, the shipping uh, within the uh, the state of uh, Ukraine. So that uh, is more of a logistics issue than it is trying to uh, control uh, exports. Also, some productions out of India, their wheat production estimated at 88.3 million metric tons. Uh, that is going to be a record crop com uh, versus last year, which was the previous record of 86.87. And uh, so uh, some not so uh, bullish news from the fundamental front, but uh, should get some support here from uh, the macro uh, economic uh, influences here, especially the, uh, the payroll report here. Uh, that we got just uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, also out of Greece, uh, still wrangling with the uh, credit defaults and, and moving uh, credit to uh, from one pocket to another. That uh, has not uh, progressed very well. Uh, they're going back to the EU ministers and asking for help uh, in order to get that completed. So uh, just dragging on uh, at this point and uh, nothing uh, concluded. I'm sure we'll have some more uh, headlines uh, pop up here over the weekend, which will cause uh, a reaction to uh, markets on Monday morning. So uh, we've got that to deal with today. We've also got a winter storm that's uh, developing out in uh, Colorado, moving into uh, Nebraska, uh, heavy snow there. Uh, Denver actually is looking for uh, record amounts of snow today. So uh, uh, that system moving into the uh, uh, central plains and into the uh, Midwest here later on this weekend uh, could cause some problems for uh, livestock in uh, Nebraska and Kansas area. But uh, the concern was that it was going to be over the main feedlot areas in uh, southwest Kansas and uh, Texas Panhandle area. It has since moved to the north, so they're just getting uh, rain more than uh, uh, snow and uh, uh, the heavy snow that was uh, earlier forecasted. Cutout values in uh, beef still struggle. Uh, choice was down 108 yesterday. Select down 15. We just can't get this product moved, and that's causing uh, packer margins to uh, continue to be in the red and and uh, anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars, 120 dollars, depending on who does the calculations. 
But uh, bottom line is it's in the red. Packers are trying to cut back on slaughter to uh, uh, improve their uh, uh, margins, and uh, they can't get the, uh, uh, the, the end product moved through the retail uh, channels. Exports uh, appear to be slowing down some on beef, and that's uh, causing the, uh, the problem with uh, cutout values and, and uh, profitability. So uh, expect some cattle to trade today. Offers uh, still at that 123, 124 area. Uh, Packers, uh, very light bids at, uh, and light interest at uh, 120 level is what we're hearing here this morning. In the pork complex, uh, cutout values there were down 32. Uh, you had the uh, futures uh, show some strength here overnight. Uh, cash markets in the hogs will uh, uh, be uh, a little stronger here today ahead of the uh, storm uh, throughout the uh, Midwest. So uh, look for some uh, support in the livestock trade as well as the uh, the macro markets are providing that uh, support right now. Cash cattle trading uh, will have an influence later on in the session as we go home uh, here closing out a week. So uh, a lot of things going on and a lot of reasons to stay in touch with Allendale's research. Uh, you can give us a call at 800-262-7538 or check us out uh, on the Allendale Research Center right here on the web where you can uh, subscribe and get all the details uh, at your fingertips. So uh, we look forward to uh, working with you. We wish you a very successful trading day, and we'll talk to you on Monday morning.